All right, Coach Craney, it's the new year. How is recruiting going? Uh, recruiting's going unbelievably well. Um, January has usually been a strong month for us in recruiting, and you know it, it's definitely one of the best Januaries we've had since I've been here. Uh, we have 58 of the best football players, uh, mostly from Ontario, but also from across Canada, visiting our campus in the month of January. Uh, about 90% of them are coming with their parents. Um, they're seeing what a gorgeous campus we have here at York, and uh, mostly they're seeing what all the buzz and the hype is. Uh, about this university and, and more specifically this football team. Um, you know, very excited to have these kids on campus and uh, hopefully we'll land a bunch of them. All right, you've signed some new commits already in the month of January. What can you tell me about them? Uh, we've signed five, five amazing young men. Um, you know, very excited to have football players of this caliber committing this early in the month of January, you know, it puts us at ease and makes our job a little bit easier. Uh, four of these five commits are uh, on the defensive side of the ball and uh, other than offensive line, um, which we'll always recruit offensive line, but we really needed to shore up our defense this year. That, that, was, a, that was pretty evident by last season. Um, our offense is, is doing a great job. We need to secure, uh, shore up things on defense. So four of these five early commits are on the defensive side of the ball, um, you know, led by a uh, linebacker from Quebec City, Andrew Mason Wong, that played for uh, CJEP uh, Notre Dame de Foy. Um, a standout linebacker in the CJEP League who, who we had visit early in, in, uh, in the month of December. Absolutely loved, his, loved the campus, um, knew that he wanted to spend the next five years in Toronto and uh, help this uh, York football team win a championship. Um, we're very excited to have Andrew. And another linebacker from the United States, Tendai Mwenda. Uh, great young man, uh, very aggressive, very athletic linebacker that, uh, again, wants to make Toronto his home for the next five years and is very excited to join our staff. And uh, very excited to announce a defensive lineman from Cambridge, Broderick Martin. Uh, Broderick Martin is an impact defensive lineman. Uh, he's not coming directly from high school. He wanted to take a year off um, to save up some money in order to make his university experience the best he could. He's been training like an elite athlete and he's in phenomenal shape. Uh, we have a huge expectation for him to come to camp August 18th and have an immediate impact on the depth chart at defensive line. Uh, we've also signed a young defensive back from Northern High School in, in Toronto right out of our backyard. Always love those kids. They're always a priority to us. Young men named Omar Blackford, uh, multi-position athlete, played a little bit of everything on offense and defensive back uh, on defense, and he's going to come into this campaign as a defensive back. Uh, that's one position we wanted to focus on in our recruiting, and uh, having Omar commit this early really shores up what we're trying to do for the 2014 com campaign. And lastly, um, always a priority on this football team is offensive linemen, and we are very, very excited to announce Jeff Hutchinson from uh, Christ the King High School in Georgetown. Um, you know, a great, great young man with a huge upside. He's a big kid that moves unbelievably well, very talented in everything he does in his life, and, you know, we're, we're very excited how that's going to translate into his York experience. And in addition to recruiting, what else have you been up to over the last few weeks? Well, I've been pulling double duty, um, you know, trying to uh, be on top of recruiting and, and looking at spring ball and everything that goes with that for the leading up to the 2014 campaign. Uh, but I'm also the head football coach of uh, the junior national team, Team Canada. And, uh, you know, I've been on a plane the last eight weeks, every weekend, um, trying to locate some of the best football players in the country that, would, you know, that, that we can select to help represent our country in the World Junior uh, Championships that take place next summer in Kuwait. Yes, I said Kuwait. And um, it's going to affect me right now uh, because we've narrowed our search down to 105 kids and uh, we're bringing those kids. We're flying out February 1st. Um, we're bringing 105 of Canada's best football players to Dallas, Texas, where we're going to hold a week-long training camp. Uh, probably, not probably, we're definitely going to play a, a friendly against the U.S. And then on February 9th, we're going to select the 50 players that are going to represent their country. So uh, I got a busy month ahead of me.